Thank you so much for attending this micro webinar today. Please note it'll be possible to download a copy of the diagram and summary of what I say today, so don't feel you have to take screenshots or notes. As an industry analyst, I'm interested in what telco should do with analytics, AI and automation called A3 in this webinar, and then how much cash they could make. And this diagram is one of my ongoing research items showing a summary of my calculations of this value for an average telco. To give you some idea of the methodology I use, I have an ongoing spreadsheeting exercise which breaks down a typical telco into 250 of its largest processes and considers where A3 is likely to bring benefits in future. The exercise then calculates what you might what this might mean in term, in financial terms, both revenue uplift and capex and opex decreases. Describing the structure of the diagram, I hope that the columns are self-explanatory. And then as I went through each of the 250 processes, I began to notice similar types of problem needed to be solved popping up in different places. And these problems then need the same types of solutions from A3. So my diagram does divides into six rows, each with similar problems and resolutions. First row includes processes which are classic big data problems. Analytics and machine learning are needed to understand large and mainly structured data sets, looking for patterns to diagnose problems and predict and prescript resolutions. Then the next row is a group of those processes most in need of automation. These tend to be relatively large teams doing somewhat repetitive tasks. Row three includes use cases which need to understand customers in order to serve them better, grouped under personalization. We have classic planning problems in row four, which require solutions around forecasting and optimization. Row five and six include use cases, which one might include under the heading of um, artificial intelligence. Row five is where humans and machines interact and analytics and AI, such as natural language processing are useful. And row six includes a range of what one might term point solutions, specifically requiring new types of A3. So things like drones or in-store robots. Just to be clear, the next box color shows, um, just to be clear on what the different box color shows. So this is an average yearly financial value calculated for adding A3. Those in dark green are over $50 million a year in value and include network management, so the addition of intelligence and automation on the network, which reduce staff costs and optimize expensive equipment. Assurance, the push towards a self-healing network, again reducing capex and opex. Network planning. Here, the addition of machine learning into planning tools positively impacts network capex and opex decisions. And field services. This area has large teams where automation and intelligence bring opportunities to optimise headcount and the amount of hours needed for travelling and completing work activities. Looking at some of the other areas in light green, which are between $10 million and $50 million in yearly value. In the, channel, in the channels column, there are opportunities across the channels to better understand customers and employees and the problems that they have using analytics and machine learning. The dollar value is less than on the network side because although many of the projects create new efficiencies in large teams, the financial value is just not as big as creating efficiencies on the network. Looking at a couple of examples from boxes in row three, assisted care. Machine learning underpins um, uh, the help provided by contact centre agents to customers, thereby reducing average call handling times. Unassisted care. Machine learning provides personalised content and customer experiences, and so a modest amount of head headcount savings are included here. Troubleshooting. Customers and agents using functionality on either the device or in the OSS will be able to diagnose and fix problems using mature analytics with some machine learning. This will also lead to a reduction in calls to the contact centre. To the right in the marketing column, using machine learning to manage data, create segmentation and prescribe next best actions will drive improved revenue mix and assist in campaign management. A good amount of the financial value has probably already been taken with improved churn management and campaigns such as prepaid recharge, but there's still value for more micro segmentation and individualised offers. So to summarise. My calculations are based on a telco with revenues of about $16 billion a year. And across the diagram, I've estimated a $1.2 billion per year of new revenue and capex or opex savings from all known A3 projects in the next five to 10 years. Most come from the top left hand side of the diagram um, because of savings on the network from automation and some use of more intelligence. I think about 250 to $300 million a year, something like that. I do hope this was interesting insight and worthy of your five minutes today. Uh, thank you for attending and please don't forget to download a summary.